Praise the Lord. This is brother, this is Minister Greg Day coming from Lighthouse for Jesus Ministries under the leadership of Apostle Donnie Bolden, Sr. We welcome you tonight. We thank you for coming in and sharing the word of God with us. And I pray that the, the word of God be a blessing and be a strength to you and an encouragement. Amen. And before we go on, I'd like to first... Uh, uh, Go to the Lord in prayer. Hallelujah. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Father God, we come to you this night, Lord God, asking you, Lord God, first of all, Lord God, to forgive us of every sin, Lord God, known and unknown, Lord God. Lord God, we pray, Lord God, hallelujah, Lord God, that your word, Lord God, oh Lord God, it be, Lord God, swift, Lord God, that, Lord God, it be right upon the winds, Lord God. And, Lord God, it'll touch, Lord God, those, Lord God, in their homes, Lord God. They are watching, Lord God. Lord God, I pray, Lord God, hallelujah, God, that you send a stirring, Lord God, in their midst, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Lord God, we pray, Lord God, that your word, Lord God, hallelujah, Lord God. Lord God, that destroy every yoke of the devil, Lord God. Let the captives go free, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for an ear to heal the spirit of shame tonight, Lord God. We pray that our hearts, Lord God, Oh, God, hallelujah, Lord God. Be, Lord God, let your word have fallen good ground, the ground of our hearts, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. It falleth not by might nor by power, Lord God, but it's by your spirit, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Glory to God, saints. Glory to God. I'm just, it's, it's an honor, praise God, to be here tonight to share the word of God with you. I thank uh, our pastor for giving us this opportunity during these times to come and share the word of God with you. And tonight, it is the prophetic word that's in 1 King 18, chapter 18. And we're going to start at the first verse. Praise God. Hallelujah. And before we, before we, we start reading, I want to, first of all, set it up. Okay, the, the, the prophet Elijah had gone to, in the, uh, to Ahab, and he told Ahab that the, that, the, that the land, that the land will be dried up, and that the, the rain will stop for three years. No, no moisture, no dew, no nothing. For three years. And after that, the, the, the word of the Lord came to the prophet Elijah and told him to go and hide. And he hid. And now we pick it up in chapter 18, verse 1. And it came to pass after many days that the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year, saying, Go. Show thyself unto Ahab, and I will send rain upon the earth. And Elijah went to show himself unto Ahab. And there was a sore famine in Samaria. We're going to stop right there. Okay, in, in, in Amos, in the book of Amos, chapter 8, verse 11, it, say, it says, Behold, the days come, say the Lord God. That I will set a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of, for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. And they shall, and they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall find it not. Praise God. So during this time... There was a that the, the famine was sore. So just imagine a famine of the word, of hearing the word of God. The word's gonna be there, but there's a famine. If you look on, if you look at the news and, and, and in the media, you see what happens in, during a famine in, in countries that go through famines. You see who's affected mostly. The children. The children. So a famine of the word, when there's the when the word of God, when there's a famine of hearing the word, the word is, is there, but there's not truth. 
And when there's no truth, there's a famous. So they travel from, from place to place trying to hear the word of God. So the people of so the, the children, the people of God, when you're not, when you don't hear, and you're not in the presence of God where you can hear his word, a famine comes, and when that famine comes, that you sometimes you'll go back and you pick up things that you put down before because you don't have that direction anymore. You don't have that, you don't hear that, you don't hear that voice anymore. That word, that word that sustained you for all this time. So the Lord told, told the prophet Elijah to go now and show yourself. Now here, the prophet Elijah, here the Lord had told him to hide because Ahab, Ahab had a, had a warrant out for him. He, had a, he was sitting out, hey, he wanted to kill him. You see, the, so here, the prophet Elijah, if we go down to ver, uh, verse number 17, now they meet up. And it came to pass when Ahab saw Elijah that Ahab said unto him, Art thou he that troubled Israel? And he answered, I have not troubled Israel, but thou in thy father's house, and that you have forsaken the commandments of the Lord, and thou hast followed Balaam. He said, I don't have nothing against, I, he, uh, the prophet Elijah told, told Ahab, I don't have anything against uh, the people of God. But I have something against you and your father, the ones who have called the people to go after another God, the ones who have twisted the things where people are going away from God, have turned away from the Lord. So it goes to say that, not therefore, send and gather to me all Israel unto Mount Carmel. You know, Saints, I said, Lord, what about the word caramel? What is that word about caramel? Caramel. So I look up the word caramel. It means fresh or vineyard. I said, well, you know what, Lord? The Lord said, I, that's a fresh, that's a refreshing. That's a fresh start for my people. He said, I'm going to reconnect with them. Vineyard, the vineyard. The Lord is the vine, and He's gonna collect the branches. Praise God. So He said, "Let's go to, let's go to Carmel." And the prophets of Baal, your four hundred and fifty, and the prophets of the grove, four hundred, which eat at Jezebel's table. Praise God. He said, "You know what, thanks to God, that spirit of Baal, that spirit of that spirit." Of, of Jezebel, that's two of the, 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 the spirits that are against the prophetic things of God. That's the controlling demon, that's controlling spirits. They, they, they want to be in control. They want to, they are aspiring, they want to kill the spirit of Elijah. They want to kill the prophets of God. They want to kill those who bring forth the word. You know, John the Baptist was a threat. Jesus was a threat. Why? Because they want to stay in the, in the state that they were in. They thought they were good enough. They, want to hear, they didn't want to hear anything else because they were in control. But tonight, praise God, the Lord said tonight, the hallelujah, there's a fresh beginning that's coming to the house of God. There's a new beginning, praise God. I'm going to set those that are captive free. That spirit of bondage, that spirit that's been holding them back, praise God, the anointing going to destroy every yoke of the devil, praise God. All those, praise God, there's that spirit of that spirit of Baal that's holding those people back, hallelujah, that's trying to tell them you can't praise the way you praise. You can't shout the way you shout. But praise God, if you got to shout, praise God. If God be good to you, praise God, the Lord say, shout, my dear. Shout, hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I was talking to a brother. He said, you know what? He said, I didn't even know that you can do those things. He said, I never felt the way I felt. Praise God. When you're in a dry place, when you're in a dead church, when you can tell when you go and, and just drink, hallelujah, drink of the Father of the Lord, it's like such a refresher, praise God. To be in such a dry place, just think about, hallelujah, those who are without water for years, praise God. Just a touch of the tongue, praise God, with water on it, it's soothing, praise God. Hallelujah. 
So he said, look, you wrestle up Team Bill, and I'll be Team God, praise God. And bring everybody, bring everybody to that fresh spot. Now there, so Ahab sent unto the children of Israel, gathered the prophets together, and unto, and together unto Mount Carmel. Verse 21 says, And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long are you between two opinions? Elijah said, How long? You, how long, y'all, are you going to halt? The word halt means falter. It means that to be lame like a man, to have a limp, praise God. When you go, if you be intent, if you be torn between two, between the world and between the between the Lord, it's like a limp, praise God. You're walking around half held. You don't even know that you're limping, praise God, because you're going from place to place, praise God. But tonight, the Lord, the prophet Elijah said, tonight, I'm making you make a commitment tonight. Or either you're gonna save serve God, and if he be God, or you're gonna serve Bill, and Bill be God. It's time for a showdown. Praise God. It's time for a showdown, saints. Praise God. And when you go to these churches, you can go to, the, to these certain churches, praise God. The showdown is this. Let's see it. Let's see with the power. Let's see your power. Praise God. The word of God said, after the Holy Ghost that come upon you, you shall receive power. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Where is your power? Where is that power when the demons come in there coming at you? Where is your power? To, uh, to raise up the dead. Where's your power to heal the sick? Praise God. Come on. Hallelujah. You know, it's, it's, and Paul, Paul warned young Timothy about those type of people. Those people, he said in, in, in 2 Timothy, Hallelujah. In 2 Timothy, the church, the third chapter, verse 5, it says, having a form of godliness, these people appear to be godly people. But denying the power thereof, cold. He said, from such turn away. He said, don't even, hey, look. He said, don't get involved with these people. Don't get involved with these people because they're going to turn you away from the truth. But you know what they say? They say that we all, we all serve the same God. It's okay. No, it's not okay. He said, God be God, serve God. He said, don't even fool with those people because they're going to mess you up, praise God. Don't go around them. And that's what the people, the people of God were doing under the, under Bill's bondage, praise God. They went back, praise God. When you have some truth, praise God, he didn't know the truth, but they still was hung between two opinions. They didn't know whether to stay in their mess, praise God, and go keep their idols, but praise God, the word of God said, lay down your altar, lay down your idols on the altar of God. Verse 22 says, Then said Elijah unto the people, I, even I only remain a prophet of the Lord, but Baal's prophets are 450 50 men. Hallelujah. So, Let's go down to verse 26. And they took the bullock which was given them. I'm talking about the prophets of Baal. Choose you one bullock for yourselves and dress it first for you or many. And call on the name of your gods, but put no fire under it. And they took the bullock which was given them and they dressed it and called on the name of Baal. From morning until noon, saying, O Baal, hear us. But there was no voice, nor any that answered. And they leaped upon the altar which was made. And it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them and said, Cry aloud, for he is a God. 
Either he's talking or he's pursuing. Or he's in a journey. Or peradventure he's sleeping. It must be awake. And they cried aloud and cut themselves after their manner with knives and lances to, till blood gushed out upon them. They began self-mutilation. That just like some churches, they'll do everything in their flesh and call it God. They'll do anything under their power and call it God. They, tr they, try, to, they try all kinds of attractions, anything that's going to attract, praise God. This is like we were talking earlier about in a, during a famine, the, the, the young people are susceptible. But praise God, even in that, they try to attract the young people. What's going to keep the young people? They, 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 talk, they talk about the millennial people. Well, praise God, the same God that was yesterday is the same God today. There's not about, it's no millennial, it's only the people of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Either you're going to serve him the way I say serve him, or else, praise God. So they try to do things, hallelujah. They try to cut themselves. But praise God, let's go on. Let's go now to the third verse. And Elijah said unto all the people, come near unto me. He said, come gather around. Come and gather around. He said, and all the people came near unto him, and he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. If you don't have that, the, 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 the altar of God was broken down. The, the altar, if you don't have a, that relationship with the Lord, if you don't have that prayer life, the altar is going to crumble, praise God. That, that there's going to be a lack somewhere. Because of that lack, it's going to crumble. And eventually, you won't be going back to that altar. You'll be swayed to go doing your own thing, praise God. But the, but the prophet Elijah said, look, come gather around. I'm going to build that I'm going to build that altar once again. Yeah. And Elijah took 12 stones according to the number of tribes of the sons of Jacob unto whom the word of the Lord came saying Israel shall be thy name. And the stones he built up an altar in the name of the Lord. And he made a trench about the altar as great as wood contained two measures of seed. And he put the wood in order, and he cut the bullock in pieces, and laid it on him, on the wood, and said, fill four barrels with water, and pour it on the burnt sacrifice, and on the wood. I told the Lord, I said, Lord, I said, I said, what is this? He said, the wood, the stones. He said, and, and, and not only that, he said, pour that water on the burnt sacrifice. He said, the wood represents the flesh, the works of the flesh. He said, the stone represents the condition of the heart. The heart has become stone. He said, that water being poured on that sacrifice because the, it's been deceived, that deception had come in. He said, watch, watch this. He said, do it, he said, and he said, do it the second time. And he did it the second time. And he said, do it the third time. And he did it the third time. I say, Lord, three times. The number of perfection. The prophet Elijah was setting up where this sacrifice was going to be one of perfection. A, a, a sacrifice of completion, praise God. And the water ran about the altar and it he filled the trench also with water. And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord, God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel, let it be known this day that thou art God of Israel and that I, thy servant, and that I have done all these things at thy word. He said, look, the God of Israel. He said, I'm reminding you, Lord, of the, that time when, when Jacob, when you changed his name, when Jacob wrestled with you and won. And he changed the name to Israel. He said, look, he said, a nation. He said, I'm reminding you of that nation, Lord. He said, don't forget, Lord God, that's, that's your nation, that's your people, Lord.
You see, you see, the enemy know your name, but he call you by your sin. But the Lord know your sin, but he calls you by your name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's not too late. It's not too late, saints. Hear me. He said, Lord, it's not about me. He said, I just want these people to know that you are God. That, Lord, that you, have, you haven't forgotten them, that you have not forsaken them. Praise God. Even though, hallelujah, even yet when we were in sin, the word of God said, he was yet there, he yet died for us. Praise God. He said, I'll never, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Glory to God. He said, look, he said, even though you, you were wandering from place to place, hopping from, from water hole to water hole, trying to, trying to get filled, but praise God, today is your day, praise God. Today is your day, hallelujah, for the word of God to come into your house, praise God, to come into your mother, praise God. Glory to God. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice and the wood and the stone and the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench. My God, I said, what? I said, Lord, I said, consume. You see, usually when they burn a sacrifice, the smoke goes up. But he consumed. He has consumed. I said, Lord, consumption. You ate it up. You ate up the wood, the stone. I said, what about the dust? He said, every residue of sin. I'm going to remove every residue, every stain of sin. All the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. He said, the Lord, hallelujah, is because of the blood, praise God. The blood that was shed on Calvary for you and I, praise God. He said, I don't wash you white as the driven snow, praise God. He said, I don't, even want, to, I don't even want dust on you. And he said, he, I, he looked, and then he licked up the water. He licked up the water. I said, Lord. The word, hallelujah, he washed it down. He washed it down, praise God. He washed it down. The Lord washed it down. Glory to God. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and they said, the Lord, he is the God. The Lord, he is the God. Sometimes, praise God, you have to remember, the Lord have to remind you who he is, praise God. I am still God. I am the almighty God. You see, Baal, Baal was the God of the, of the heavens. He was the Lord of the heavens. He was the Lord of, of, of thunder, of lightning, of the rain. But praise God, the true God, praise God. There's nobody greater. There's no God greater. There's nothing greater than the Lord. There's nothing greater than the word of God. There's nothing greater than the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tonight the Lord said, praise God. Put aside every idol, praise God. He said, come unto him. He said, bring it all. Bring it all to my altar. My altar of forgiveness, praise God. Lay your gift to the altar. He said, lay it down, praise God. He said, don't let nothing hold you back, praise God. I'll take away your sin. I'll take away, hallelujah, by my blood. Have I redeemed you, praise God. The Redeemer liveth. Oh, my Redeemer liveth. Praise God. Whatever the idol may be, it may not be sin. Whatever that, you, that take the place of the Lord, that idol, lay it down, praise God. Lay it down tonight. Make up your mind. The prophet Elijah said, make that commitment. And when they realized, my God, they fell on their faces, praise God. Lord, you are God. And he 
Elijah said unto them, Take the prophets of Baal, let not one of them escape. And they took them, and Elijah brought them down to the brook of Kishon and slew them there. Praise God. Look, now this was about the rain. Initially, it was about the rain. But before the rain come, the Lord had to set some things in order. He said, judgment must first begin at the house. If you want to see the rain, praise God. If you want to see the rain, he said, I got to do something in my house. I got to get my house straight, praise God. He said, bring it down. He said, throw it down. Throw it down, throw it down, throw it down. Kill it. Kill that spirit. Kill that spirit of Baal. Kill that spirit of Jezebel. And Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up, eat and drink. For there is a sound of abundance of rain. Praise God. So Ahab went up to eat, to drink, and Elijah went up to the, to the top of Carmel. Elijah went back up to, the, for that fresh, to that fresh spot. He went back up there. And the word of God said that he cast himself. He cast himself on the ground, put his head between his knees. He put his head between his knees. Now he just asked the Lord to, to bring down fire from heaven. Now he's got now he has to pray. And he said to his servant, Go up now, look toward the sea. And he went up and looked and said, There's nothing. And he said, Go again seven times. He said, Go again seven times. See, sometimes. Sometimes once is not enough. Sometimes you got to keep, you got to be persistent, praise God. You can't just stop, praise God. You got to keep on. Elijah put his, put his head between his knees, and he said, but seven times. Go back seven times, sir. The number of completion. He said, go. The seventh time he said, what do you see? He said, I see a. Cloud the size of a man's hand. Now he weighed up on top of the mountain and looked down in the sea and see us the hands the size of the, the cloud the size of a man's hand. That's all it took for he, the prophet Elijah to see to, to hear. Because now the manifestation has occurred. All it takes is a little bit. It don't take a whole lot. Praise God. All you need is a token, praise God. To let the Lord know that he's there. That I am your midst, praise God. That the anointing, praise God, is in the midst of the people of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, look at that hand. That hand coming out. All it, when, it's, when it's God, all it takes is a drop of rain. And it's a flood. He said, uh-oh. And it came to pass at the seventh time, he said, behold, now there he is, the man's hand. He said, go up and say unto Ahab, prepare thy chariot and get thee down, and that the rain stop thee now. He said, don't let the rain stop you. See, what the word of God is saying is you got to get in that place. You gotta, when you get there in that place where, where you're, where you're going to be there when the rain comes, get in that place. He said, I see that. He said, get in that place. He thought the rain stopped you, praise God. And it came to pass, and it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heaven was black, was black with clouds and wind. Praise God. It, the darkest cloud in our lives, praise God. The darkest time in our lives. The wind of God is still there, praise God. The presence is there, praise God. You know, I was offshore during this, during this last storm, and it got so dark out there, and the wind, and that's how, I, and that's how the Lord spoke to me about this, about this word. The, the, the wind, 
And you do you know, in spite of all of that, and then the rain came. This, according to the word, the rain came. The rain came down. But just like the, the, the word of God is going to come down, praise God. The word of God is going to pour out. The word of the Lord of God, the Lord God is going to going to send down the rain like never before, praise God. I ain't talking about abundance of blessing. I'm talking about the word of God. We need the word of God now, praise God. Yeah, we thank God for blessing. We thank God for abundance. But the word of God, God is something that's going to keep us. The thing that's going to save us, praise God. The thing that's going to wash us. We talking about the word of God, praise God. Thank God for, for praise and worship. Thank God for testimonies. But it's the word of God that's going to keep you. It's going to be the word of God that's going to, hallelujah, that is going to sustain you, praise God. It's the word that's going to wash us, praise God. My God. And one thing about it, after the rain passed offshore, here come the here come the here come the the rainbow, the promise of God. He says, even in those stormy times, the stormy times in your life, there's still a rainbow, praise God. And once the rainbow comes, there is a light, the sun, praise God. Shine down. Shine down, oh God. My Lord. Lord to God. And it came to pass and meet the, the clouds, the wind, and there was a great rain. Do you know when, when I was offshore? I got a, a message on my phone uh, from the Weather Bureau talking about flood watch, flood warning, and the amount of rain. But we're talking about a rain, praise God. You don't mind this rain. You don't mind getting flooded out with this rain. You want it more than ankle deep. You want it more than knee deep. You want, you want this rain flood to be more than waist deep. You want this rain to cover you, praise God. Hallelujah. We're talking about a flood. Even, even in, the, in the flood, you are still able, praise God. Lord, let me vast in your word. Let me vast, Lord God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. And if you would, here's the forecast. Here's the forecast for the church. Praise God. If you would go to Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 32. Starting at verse 1. Give ear, O you heavens, and I will speak. And hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. My speech shall distill as the dew. That word distill means purify. Purify. As the small rain upon the tender herb and as the showers upon the grass. Because I will publish the name of the Lord. Ascribe you greatness unto our God. He is the rock. His work is perfect. For all his ways are judgment. A God of truth and without iniquity. Just and right is he. He said my word is going to rain my that the doctrine going to come down like rain. Thank God. And not just that. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, praise God. Are you with me? Verse 8, 
It says, drop down, you heavens, from above. And let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open and let them bring forth salvation. And let righteousness spring up together. I, the Lord, have created it. Hallelujah. Glory to God, saints. Lord, drop down. Rain down on us, O oh God. He said in the time of the latter rain to ask, to call for that rain. Lord, we need the latter rain. We need to pour down, Lord God. We need your word, Lord God. We don't need no, no, no sugar-coated word. We don't need no watered-down word. We know we need the unadulterated word of God. We need that word that's going to deliver. We need that word that's going to restore, that's going to heal, praise God. That word of God, hallelujah, that's going to bring forth life, praise God. My God, let us stand in the rain. Lord God, rain down in the sanctuary of strength. Lord God, rain down in every home, praise God. Lord God, rain down, hallelujah. My God, what you need, whatever you need is in he because he is truth, praise God. Just like his word says, whatever you need is in him. Praise God. Lord, we love you tonight, Lord. Lord, we give you all the honor and the praise, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God. We're for hearing our cry, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you're going to bring forth, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Abundant, abundance of rain, Lord, in that season, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you haven't forgotten this people, Lord God. You haven't forgotten, Lord God, that covenant, Lord God, with your people, Lord. Lord God, we bless you, Lord God. We give you all the honor and the glory, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, for healing tonight. We thank you, Lord God, that blind eyes shall open, Lord God. Deaf ears going to open, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You don't have to walk with a, you don't have to walk with a limp tonight. All you got to do is commit your ways to the Lord. All you got to do is give up, praise God. All you got to do is, Lord, for you I live and for you I die. All you have to do is present your body a living sacrifice tonight. Right where you are. Right where you are. He said, what profit of man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Oh, your soul does mean more than that. Praise God. You know, I was, I was just thinking today, 29 years ago, I was in, uh, at Oscars in New Orleans. I was at Oscars in New Orleans because I had a tumor in my heart, inside the heart. And I was sent there, I was sent there to a specialist for open heart surgery. I told the Lord, on our way to New Orleans in the ambulance, all hooked up. 105 fever. I said, Lord, I said, I've seen you do miracles in people's lives. I've seen you heal. I started reminding the Lord everything that I've seen, had, had seen. I said, Lord, me, me, oh God. I'm standing in a need. I need a miracle. Lord, don't allow them, Lord God, to cut me open, Lord. Lord God, if it's not your will, don't let it be, oh God. Yes, it was there. I don't deny it. Yes, it was there. You don't have to deny anything. It can be there. You can say, I don't see it. I don't receive it. It is there. Yes, it's there. Yes, it's there. But Lord, you're greater. The anointing, the healing power of God. The Lord came to New Orleans, Oscar's Hospital. He touched my body. He touched my heart, praise God. He, hallelujah, the healing power, the miracle worker came on in that room. Yeah. Yeah, 
He came in there, saints. They rolled in that examining room. Four doctors, a, four, a team of four. They rolled in that examining room. They had that monitor. And they went to looking and searching the heart. Oh, Lord. Lord, you're searching the heart tonight. Lord, you're searching the heart. You're a miracle worker tonight, Lord God. Search the heart, Lord. Lord, if there be any growth, Lord, uh, that's not liking unto you, oh God. Remove it, Lord. Uh, you are the miracle worker. So that monitor was there. And he went to looking. They left the bedside and went to the corner of the room for a conference. Three of the doctors left, and brother and Dr. Levy, I never forget the man's name. Dr. Levy come up to me. He said, Gregory, he said, we don't see anything. He said, we're gonna treat you for that fever, and after that, you can walk on out of here. Glory to God. Glory to God. I know he can heal. I know I experience healing power and a miracle working power of God. Yes, he can. If you have a shout, if you have a victory tonight, you go on and shout the victory. Thank God for your deliverance. Thank God for your hallelujah healing. Thank God for your miracle. My God, my Lord, oh God, you're wonderful. I don't know, my God. How wonderful you are, oh God. How wonderful. I told the Lord, I said, Lord, one night I told the Lord, driving back from Bible study, I told the Lord, I said, Lord, I said, I'm sorry for not trusting you when my wife was sick and she had that tumor. I was driving back. I said, Lord, I said, forgive me. I started weeping. I said, Lord, I'm sorry. I didn't trust you. Sometimes when you, you see, that's why. That's why, you know, when you get with people, people that don't have the faith of a mustard seed, I said, Lord, forgive me. I said, if you would, restore that which was removed. Restore it. So I went back offshore. My wife called me. She said on that side, on that side where they removed that tumor, she said, I feel something. I don't feel good. I don't feel right. I said, I'll tell you what. I said, Doc is a, he's a Christian doctor. Go ahead and, and, uh, and go see him. So she go down there to visit with the doctor. She said, Told the doctor, the doctor examined her. His nurse called me offshore. He said, Mr. Day, when you come in, Dr. Bass would like to have a conference with you and your wife. I said, I'll be there in the morning. So I told my wife, I'll meet her there at the doctor's office at Women's and Children. So we get in there. He said, I'll get there. He said, have a seat, Greg. I said, yes, sir. I said, what you got, Doc? He was sitting over there. He said, who's been praying? I said, Lord, I said, I said, Dr. Bass, you know we Christian people. We, we ministers. I said, yeah, we've been praying. He said, no, 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 not that prayer. He said, who's been praying for a miracle? I said, I said, Dr. Bass, uh, Tell me what you're talking about. 
He said, I examine Monsanto. And which and what wasn't is. He said, the side of her that I removed the ovary, there's an ovary that's back. He said, but I would like to have a procedure and go in there and take a look. So we set it up. So Dr. Bass went in there to take a look. He took a look at the wonders of God. You know what he said, Bishop? He said, I have never seen in all my doctrine an over as beautiful as that. He said, it looked like a pearl. I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And after that, she conceived and had patience. I said, Lord, thank you. Even when we do something, do it, do it wrong, he still can work it out. He still can work it out for the good, brother. He still can work it out for the good, saints. Even when we make a mistake, the mistake isn't the end. It's still hope in Jesus tonight. He's still able. He has seen us through it all. We've been through it all. But thank God that we're still here. Thank God that we're still here, saints. And I thank God. I just want to share those testimonies with you just in case you're going through. I want you to know that the Lord is still a miracle worker. And that he's still, he's still equipped. Hallelujah. And he's going to show up. He's going to show up. He's going to show up. You tell that devil he's going to show up. You say, my God's going to show up. My God's going to show up. I thank you. We give you all the glory tonight, Lord God. Lord, we thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Lord God, touch, Lord God. Touch his people tonight, Lord God. Lord God, touch them right there, Lord God. Touch them right there where they are, oh God. Lord God, open up the windows of heaven. Lord God, rain down. Send a refreshment in that house, Lord. Lord God, rain, Lord. Send you a liar. You're not in control. My God is in control. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Worship him tonight, saints, right where you are. Just lift up your hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just give him a thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My God. Glory to God. Every need, Lord God. You see the need of your people. Lord God, meet that need, Lord God. Lord God, let the winds, Lord God, of refreshing, Lord God, strengthen the fruit that have remained in the house. Glory to God. Let them not be dull to your hearing, Lord God. Lord God, let them hear what the Spirit is saying in this hour, oh God. Open up their eyes, Lord, that they may see the prophet Elijah. One morning, his servant went out. And when he went out, they were surrounded by an army. And he ran back in and he told the prophet Elias, Elisha. He said, there's a great army all around us. He said, go back and look again. When he, when he turned to go back, the Lord, the, the prophet Elisha said, open up his eyes and he could see. He went back out and he looked. And there was chariots of fire. Hallelujah. More than what you can see. The Lord, the Lord opened up their eyes so they could see the manifestations of, of the power of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It may be a rough start, but praise God, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. It's going to get better.
out in Jesus. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. It's going to get better. It's going to get better. The water, the water, the Lord going to rain down. He's going to bring forth. He's going to bring that word. That word, that word will come down. That doctrine uh, is going to come down like righteousness. Uh, the word. It's not about you and I. It is about him. Uh, it is about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Lord, not our will, but thy will be done. Hallelujah. We praise you. We give you all the honor and glory, oh God. In Jesus' name. And I thank you. And I thank you and I praise you for sharing the word of God with you tonight. I pray that it was a blessing and that it, that it stirs your soul. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. for tuning in and we thank God for that powerful word so if anybody asks you what's in the forecast just know that the rain of God's word is coming to your house to my house to this house and we just thank you guys for tuning in we thank you guys for worshiping with us and we just want to admonish you guys if you want to bless the house if you want to give and support the work that God is doing you can do so via cash app at the cash tag, capital L, Lighthouse for Jesus. You can also contact Minister Gary Young at 337-501-2987. And guys, we just thank you guys for fellowshipping with us. We will be back in the house on Sunday with another powerful word, with powerful worship, celebrating our fathers. So you guys tune in or you can meet us here, right here at the house. And we thank you guys. We love y'all. Be encouraged and look for the reign of God in Jesus' name.